once your ball python has mated, it's time to look for signs that your snake is gravid. Being gravid means carrying fertile eggs. Although gravid ball pythons will lay eggs roughly 45 to 50 days after ovulating, there are several signs to look for in the weeks prior that can potentially tip you off to the fact that your snake could be pregnant. This is especially true if you know for a fact that your snake has made it within the past month or so. In order for a ball python to become gravid, it must weigh just over 3 pounds and be at least 2 years of age. In terms of timing, the best odds of success are during the late winter and early spring. This is when ball pythons would naturally mate in the wild. If you wish to encourage mating, you can lower the temperature within your snake's enclosure. This can trigger mating behaviors. When the time is right, your female ball python will lock up with a male. After that point, the waiting game begins. From a time standpoint, other than the aforementioned 45 to 50 days, gestation in ball pythons is measured from the date of ovulation until the eggs are laid, not from the date that mating took place. Ball pythons may take several weeks or even a full month before becoming gravid. It does not occur right after mating takes place. In respect to eggs laid, the number usually falls between 1 and 13. They will be white in color. The average clutch size is between 4 and 8. It's not uncommon to spot what are known as slugs. These are smaller, yellow-colored eggs that are infertile. After the python gives birth, these specific eggs will hatch in 40 to 60 days. Now that most of the basics have been covered, let's tackle the topic at hand. The signs that your ball python is gravid. Let's begin. The first sign that we will cover is what we like to call cool seeking. This is when your ball python will spend the bulk of her time at the cool end of her enclosure. She will avoid all heat sources. During cool seeking, your python may also wrap itself around its water bowl if possible. Your snake may also relax on its back. The reason for this cooling phase is to protect developing egg sacs. Because eggs are sensitive to heat, engaging in a cool-down is essential. The next sign of pregnancy is what is known as lumping up. Similar to the cool-down, lumping up is often the visual sign that follicles are developing. Follicles are the egg-containing sacs located in the ovary. Lumping up is typically seen around six weeks prior to ovulation. Because many follicles develop at the same time, the name lumping up is fitting as your snake will appear lumpy, almost like it swallowed a few marbles along the way. This process is known as building. Although lumping up doesn't always guarantee that fertilization will take place, it is a very positive sign that your ball python will become gravid. Ball pythons are a bit like cats when it comes to their meals, very picky. However, ball pythons that become gravid can cease eating altogether. Some ball pythons will refuse food for weeks. However, don't be alarmed. This is a good sign that your snake is gravid, especially if you've already noticed signs of cooling down and lumping up. Prior to a ball python ovulating, you'll likely notice a change in skin color. This is known as the pregnancy glow. The snake's scales will take on a lighter color, and there might be a more distinct contrast between your python's existing lighter and darker scales. This occurrence is most obvious in the head and neck area. In some cases, these changes can be quite drastic, almost as though your snake has changed colors entirely. Some pythons can even take on the appearance of a pastel or hypomorph. Although everything we've noted thus far points to a pregnancy, especially if the signs are multiple in nature, there can still be a false positive in play when it comes to simple observation alone. However, ovulation is an obvious sign that your snake is gravid. Unlike mammals, a snake's ovulation can be observed from the outside. Your snake's abdomen will look quite large, as though she's consumed a large meal. It will also feel hard. Your snake will also take on a more aggressive demeanor. Unlike follicle building, ovulation is quite sudden. If your ball python is small in stature, you may notice bulges or ridging areas where the eggs are actually sitting. Roughly 21 days after ovulation, your ball python will begin to shed. This is known as the pre-lay shed. This shedding cycle will allow the snake to accommodate her larger abdomen. Signs of pre-lay shed include 
hiding, refusal to consume food, aggression, and fractious behavior, cloudy or milky color eyes, tinted blue skin and a pink colored stomach, and finally, forced aggressive rubbing on surface areas in an effort to commence shedding. Once the shed is complete, your ball python will approach the birthing phase. Within 30 days, your snake will lay her eggs. While these signs and symptoms can be quite telling, we encourage you to visit a vet and have an ultrasound performed in order to confirm pregnancy. Use this opportunity to ask any questions that you might have so you can be fully prepared during the process. While that will conclude things for the video portion of our content, we invite you to head on over to snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on this very topic. If you're currently watching this video off-site, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below that is available to you. A single click will take you to the in-depth article in question. There you will find valuable material concerning ball python pregnancy and the signs to look for. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later.